Hello everybody, I'm Queen with a K and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today we are going to be checking out Ethel, which I've heard good things about from my other CEOs of Screams teammates. Um, so let's just dive right in. My name is Thomas Myrtle. I thought this was Ethel. And I think I murdered my grandmother. Oh, okay, so that's who Ethel is. Turn up my sound a little bit here so I can hear better. Okay, oh, flashy light. Present day, 1963, okay. Ooh, hello. Squeaky, squonky noises. Okay, so I can turn off my flashlight. I don't know why I would, but this is pretty. Well, that's weird. I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that at all. Um. Yeah. Okay. It's locked. I'll check around back. Okay. Well, there's no shift run, so I guess that's a good thing. Very interesting rock placements you have here, Grandma. Who the hell boarded this up? There has to be something around here I can use to take these down. There's some giant ass rocks. All right, well, let's see if there's a crowbar somewhere. Or a hammer. I think a crowbar. I wish that there was a sprint function because I move super slow. What if I just take grandma's... Oh, wait, what about an axe? Can I ask you a question? Hold on. No, I don't see anything there. Wouldn't grandma just... Aha! An axe. Gib. Gib. Too cool. Is somebody inside? Did I miss something? Because I didn't see anything. Oh, never mind. I see something now. Oh, that looks creepy. She kind of hot, though. Can I just, like... Oh, I figured maybe I could just bash the front door down with the axe. Nope, let's make the long trek back around back. It is a very pretty game, though. For all of it that I can see. I have no idea what you guys can see, so hopefully I'll be able to clean it up in post. <laughs> All right, hick, hick, uh, pop, and bam. Yeah, that's how doors work. Can I take the axe with me to Mordor, whoever? All right, well, the lights don't seem to work. Cool. A cheval. Can I take the cheval? A bucket? I'm just snooping through all grandma shit. Whoa, grandma. Grandma. Oh. I don't have a picture or I don't have a camera. I, there's something engraved on the lock. You can find me if you try. I can be seen with the naked eye. I can't be seen with the naked eye. Okay. Can I? Okay. Well, all right. A mysterious ticking noise. Hmm. I found the source of the ticking. It's a pipe bomb. Grandma, you need to do some cleaning up in here. It's icky. Oh, 
You got some spooter. Oh, God, Grandma. Okay. Got some spooters. Oh, this is a nice blanket. K. Floor. That must be like a, a, a kid's grandkids. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, I can't really read that very well. Um, it's been a tough journey, but I'm grateful to have my grandparents by my side when I had nothing and nobody else. I've been crashing on this couch for a few months now, and my back is constantly reminding me of the discomfort, but it's still better than the cold sidewalks I used to sleep on. Becky, I know you'll never read this, but I'm sorry that our marriage fell apart because of my battle with drugs and alcohol. I'm proud to say, though, that I've been clean for two years now, slowly but surely getting my life back on track. However, it's not all smooth sailing. My grandmother's health is declining, and it's heartbreaking to witness her struggle with forgetfulness. She tries to write new stories for her books, but her memory fails her just after a few sentences. We're doing our best to keep this from the press, but it's a battle we're fighting silently. Despite her health issues, she still gets up every morning at 4 a.m. like clockwork, Jesus Christ, to make us both a fresh cup of coffee. Those early mornings spent together on the front porch sharing coffee and conversation are precious moments I will always cherish. As for Pa, he's been working tirelessly lately. Our connection, once strong during my younger years, seems to have faded. He appears lost, distant even. Well, yeah, his wife is, uh, it sounds like dementia or Alzheimer's. That's sad. He appears lost, distant even. Uh, you said that, or I said that. I had hoped that our shared experiences of fighting in the wars would bring us closer, but it seems to have driven a wedge between us instead. It's a disheartening realization, but one I'm determined to navigate through. Overall, each day brings its own challenges and blessings. I'm holding on to hope and grateful for the family I have, even if, even amidst the struggles we face. All right, well, um, can I play the piano? Oh, look at a uh, cockatoo. Okay, well, that's weird. That's concerning that the cross is shifted like that. All righty. Hello? Lady? All right. Lady? Oh. Who was in here? Some kids probably throwing a party. Oh, a toothbrush. That looks new ish. Lady, I know you're up here. And you're going to freak me out. I know it. I know it. You're going to scare me. I know you're up here. Alright, are you in here? Okay. I'll try this again. No. Was there something I missed in the bathroom? Um. Puh scented. Smells so good you'll get the puh. <laughs> From the developer Dashi, please don't see me just showing you some love, my boy, huge fan. <laughs> All right. In the home of the famous late Ethel Myrtle. With my future wife, Claire. She's been nagging me for months to take a trip out here, so I surprised her with a visit to explore her idol's former residence. Despite its hidden location, I had a connection who had worked for Ethel. Rumors circulated about the grandson's involvement in Ethel's disappearance, driven mad after the war, I'm guessing. The husband ended up disappearing after the events, and he hasn't been heard from since. Some think he's out looking for his grandson to seek revenge or something. If he's even still alive. I would have liked to see more of this place, but nearly every door was locked, preserving its history. Claire insisted on respecting the place after I mistakenly tagged up some of the walls. Mistakenly tagged up some... How do you mistakenly spray paint on a wall? I'll try to clean it up before we leave. And yet you did not because it was all over the downstairs. We're hanging out in the bathroom, smoking and sharing a few drinks. Claire brought her Ouija board to connect with Ethel. She's a bit of a fanatic. I never believed in that stuff but whatever makes her happy she seems off lately but i'm glad this trip 
here made her day, even though this place gives me a heavy feeling. I boarded up the back door at the request of Claire so that when we leave, she at least has the sense that the place is protected. We're going to check out the rest of this place and see what we can find. Who writes and leaves notes like this just randomly around? Also, like, you didn't clean literally anything. At least I didn't destroy the place. I'll keep looking. Okay. Well, time to try the doors again. Because, yes, I did miss something in the bathroom. So, wait, why am I here? What am I looking for? Did you want me to come in here? Lady? Lady? Oh, a tape recorder. Oh, there's no tape. I'm a doofus. Oh, a key! This looks like the key to the foundation. Pa used to twirl it around his finger any time there was an outage. Okay. Uh, oh. Journal entry. Okay, two decades spent in this dump. Each creak of the wooden floorboards a reminder of the monotony that surrounds me. Our grandson's arrival though celebrated by others, only amplifies the dull ache of boredom that has settled into the very bones of this place. These walls seem to close in as, a, as the routine of these isolated woods stifles any sense of excitement or purpose. In these moments, I find my mind wandering back to the days of war, a time when every heartbeat mattered and the thrill of the unknown eclipsed the mundane existence. The idea of returning to the battlefield with its chaos and danger seems almost preferable to the dreary routine of life in this homestead. In the midst of Ethel's illness, my truck's ryth rhythmic purr and this art of painting become my lifetime, guiding me through the emptiness that surrounds me. The canvas becomes a sanctuary where unspoken thoughts find expression, locked away in a room only seen by my late mother. The keys to my peace rest with her. Perhaps it's the yearning for purpose, for a challenge that transcends the mundane. As I put pen to paper on this anniversary, the ink seems to carry the weight of unspoken desires. God, did you really hate me, Grandpa? I mean, Jesus. Did I see a hand somewhere? No. Okay, well, I found a note here. Hello? I walked away from it. Can you do that again? I wonder if I can get the power working in this place. Oh, that's where the mysterious ticking noise is coming from. Well, where's the power box? You said the foundation. Do I have to go back outside then? ghost all right well that was weird um so key to the foundation i don't remember seeing like a cellar entrance or anything Um, huh. 
Maybe this is the key to the front door? Why is the rocking chair still a rockin'? I can't go this way right yet. No, I can't go that way. Okay, well, I just left for no reason. Um... So where's the power? And what does it mean by keys to the foundation? My steppy stompies are very loud. I'm back. Trying to freak me out again. I would feel like it would be in a room like this to get power. A photo from the years ago, my great great grandfather stands proudly beside his daughters, nieces, and nephews a few years after completing the house he built with his two sons. I recall my grandmother mentioning that they all fell seriously sh ill shortly after its construction. Could have been due to the materials used in the building. That's a creepy thought. Picture my grandmother's parents. His house was constructed by my great grandfather. He built it from the ground up. Utilizing his skill, he repurposed the old foundation that sits on the hill behind this one for storage and installed the power supply. Oh. Okay, so I was on to something. There must be a path that I missed. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, let's just traipse through the woods. Why do people do these things, like, at night? There we go. Ugh, gross. Okay, what's all this? Aside from creepy. And wet. A missing fuse. Left extras in storage. As in like like back at the house storage. Well, that was intended to be a jump scare. Caution, private pool. Oh. Oh. All right, well back to the house we go. At least it's not a long walk, you know? Who's running along around behind me? Those floorboards fixed. I'm back with the fuse and ready to be scared. Honestly, I feel like I'm just expecting it at this point. Did I do it? Sounds like I did. Okay, well you made me jump. Rude.
I hope that's not a problem. If it is, it's a problem for future me and not right now me, so. I do not see lights in the distance, but I guess maybe like they didn't just leave all the lights on. All right, and survey says, lights. Queen said, let there be lights, and there was fucking lights. No, I want those on. Huzzah. Sanity drains in the dark. There's no light switch there. Where is there a light switch in here? Ah, right there. Cool. <clears throat> This is the weirdest noise for stairs ever. Okay, great. That's not a light switch, that's a plug. Where is there a light switch in here? I guess there isn't. I just have to turn on the lights. Was there anything in here? Oh, pill bottles. Pa took sleeping pills. Guess so. Pretty sure, yeah, this is crouch. I don't see anything else. There's still no tape in there. I haven't found any tapes. So we'll just... Oh, well, that's inviting. Yeah, yeah, we just... You just hang on a minute. I'm just going to turn on every other light in the house that I possibly can. All right. Yells. Grandma? Was this your room? Oh, okay. Hold on. All right. To whom I may concern, my name is Thomas Myrtle, the grandson of Ethel and Arthur Myrtle. I have no recollection of last night's events, yet I fear I may have committed a grave act, awakening beside a pool of blood in my grandmother's room with her nowhere to be found. Our senseless argument from yesterday morning seems to have spiraled out of control. I cannot bring myself to face my family, so I am deciding to vanish. Pa never intended harm towards you or grandma, and I, I never intended harm towards you or grandma, and I wish you were here to have stopped me. Grandma, my love for you is immense, and I am deeply sorry for believing I had changed. You were right all along. All right, so I believe I killed grandma. Oh, there's grandma's pills. Wish was from the art room. Okay, I'm not gonna read all of this. Why did Pa keep that room so secret anyway? I should have looked, I should look for the key. Okay. Oh my God. The hell was that? Am I having an up fucking episode? I like literally stared at it for a second before it came at me. <laughs> All right, well, there's no key there. Okay. This morning was unexpectedly turbulent. Grandma accused me of taking her pills and reverting to my old ways. It stung to hear those words, especially since I've been clean and proud of it. But I understand that her old age can sometimes play on her memory. I didn't touch those pills. They were probably left on the coffee table, forgotten. The confrontation left me feeling disheartened and misunderstood. However, Grandpa surprised me by offering to spend some quality time together later tonight. He suggested playing a few hands of poker and letting me vent about the situation. I'm sure he'll bring up his favorite 1914 story. The year he was drafted into the war. Crazy old man. 
Anyway, it was a welcome change from the tension with Grandma, and it'll be... I'm assuming it's supposed to be a chance to connect with him again, especially since we haven't spent much time together lately. Can you stop with the fucking li like flickering noises? Nope, well, fuck me then. All right. Um, he's always locked away in what he calls the art room, but I've yet to catch a glimpse of it. He's incredibly secretive, keeping everything under lock and key. The other day I caught him painting the walls, but strangely there was no paint left behind. Perhaps those paint fumes are starting to get to him. Anyway, I hope Grandma can find it in her heart to forgive me, even though I'm innocent. Being falsely accused by someone I love hurts deeply, deeply, but I'll try to maintain patience and understanding. Family is everything, even when they're mistaken. Can you knock it off? <sighs> All right, so if I were a key to Grandpa's secret room. Oh, is that the four digit code room? Need to find the art room key, think. If I were Grandpa. Oh, wait, I wonder, um, 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 what if it's out in that thing? What's this? Doesn't matter. Cool. What if it's out in that big, like, locker thing that was in, um, the storage area? Because he had a key to that. That he always kept. And there was this big locker thing. Maybe he kept it there? Or maybe he keeps it in storage? I don't know. We're going to go check. This might be a huge waste of time. But I'm going to look. Yeah, this thing. No way to enter, I mean, private pool, like, this seems like something, but I can't interact with it. Hmm. All right. We can go check storage. See if I can find it there. Is there a light switch for the outside light that I did not see? I thought it was this one right inside, but apparently it's not. Um. Hmm. I do not know. Okay, great. Um, okay, I looked it up because I don't know how I would have gotten this. And rather than look around for an hour. <laughs> All right, I got the key. Apparently he put it with grandma. Okay, this isn't bad. What the fuck happened here? I hate that. Also, the red placement is weird. This is pretty good. Alright, what am I missing? What did you write? Ah, this. Tonight marks the final stroke of my brush within these walls as I ready myself for the eve to come. The canvas before me depicts a man dissolving into the in Inui? 
and weakness that surrounds me. The tape recording is safely secured in my study, but I'll be long gone before the ears of another ever hear it. What tape is he talking about? Where's the code? Um, code, 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 code. Is it lion? Morica. I'd say Ethel, but it's... Hey. Oh, thank God you're done now. Cool. I'm looking around for little man again. Padlock has four digits. Yeah, how do I find the code? Okay. Uh, ah. Ooh, UV light. Okay, that was unnecessary. Oh, I hate this. Well, now's where it's gonna get creepy. Oh, I should have waited till I was up here. Hello. You're gonna creep me out, aren't you? Yep. Okay. Alright, Grandma. Alright. Oh wait, what room was he painting? He painted a room. Not this one. It said that he painted a room, but there was no trace of paint. How could I have done this to you? Done what? Oh, blood spots. I don't think you did it, my dude. I think grandpa did it. I think he framed you to make you think that you did it. What room did he paint? <gasps> oh my god, lady! Okay, that one got me. On the back of painting, no. Oh, they're weak. Okay. Cool. You leave any other messages for me, Gramps? Remember this being a picture of grandma. Mm. Oh! Okay, well. My young grandmother stands between her two sisters beneath my great grandmother. Cool. 
cool, cool, cool. Um, all right, well, I guess let's just go see if we can find anything. I'll head downstairs, I guess. Like those noises. Oh, there's a four there. Okay. Um, so we've got a four. I missed it. Okay, what about any of these? Oh. Oh, that was a light. Okay. Oh, oh do I have to click on it? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. No, I can't click on you. Oh, Jesus. Hello, demon. So did I, did I get you? I'm assuming I did. Okay, well, great. So there have been two down here. That sounds like a creepy baby. Great. I didn't even think to look in here because this is where I found the UV light. Hmm. Is that what I'm seeing though? Like a creepy baby? All right. Well, now I kind of know what I'm- Oh, Jesus! Hi! Okay, I feel like you're leading me in a way. Because I think I was supposed to have seen you before. Okay, that's just a crack. And I did not see you. Hmm. Hello. Okay. A four, a seven, a one. Oh, wait, one, one. So it didn't count the four that I got? I bet you it's 1914. So I'm looking for a nine somewhere. Hold on, I feel like I didn't get that four. So let's go back down and get it. Yeah, it doesn't say I got the four. Okay, this is frustrating that I have to get it like just the right angle to get it. A few minutes later. I'm like clicking my mouse. I can't get this four. I can't continue the game if I don't get this. A little longer than a few minutes later. I can't fucking get it. Two hours later. Cha cha, real smooth. Do 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 do. Turn around. Oh! 
wait, come on, I was just fucking around. <laughs> Turn around. Oh, come on, give it back. I'm sorry I made fun of you. Turn around. Six and a half hours later. You guys saw the hand. You saw the hand. I've literally been trying to do this for like 20 minutes. <laughs> I've literally been trying to get this for about 20 minutes. I've been recording for an hour. And I swear the vast majority of the last 20 minutes have been me trying to get this four. And I keep cha chying, hoping that it's going to turn into me getting this four. Okay, game developers. Enjoying the game so far. Please make this easier to get. I like this is this is obnoxious that I can't get this. I can very clearly see it. Like I've already gotten the jump scare for it. Okay, maybe if I get real close up on it and like slowly back away and click all around. Maybe the hand will show up. Or maybe just some colored lights will show up. I don't... <gasps> oh, thank fucking God. <sighs> <sighs> and now I just need the number nine. Okay. So that was two downstairs, one upstairs. Oh. <laughs> 1914. Who, 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 who fucking called it? Just backwards. All right. I'm expecting either lady or creepy child, creepy baby to show back up. All right. So four. Four, one, nine, one. Did I? All right, fine. I'm going to try. Yep. <laughs> oh, good. Psst. Yes. All right, so I'm looking for this tape, right? Nice fedora. Bar she blows. All right, back up to grandma and grandpa's room. I guess it was just grandpa's room because grandma moved into that other room. Fuck off. I'm on a mission. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I almost forgot. <laughs> she just, zoom, just Naruto run it, ran across the fucking screen. All right.
you've got one soul dependent on meds to numb the pain, and another reveling in them for twisted delight, pitting them against each other is child's play. Just drop the pills next to the addict's pitiful bedside. I waltz in, the virtuous savior. Tom and I indulge in a deceitful game of poker, and as he rises to use the head, I sneak a generous dose of sleeping pills into his tea. Sweet dreams, Tom, you gullible pawn. Once Ethel was dealt with, I moved his body into her quarters. When he comes to, I'm sure he'll believe the terrors of the war made him do such a terrible thing. Grandpa's an asshole. He won't suspect it was me. Little does he know, I had him dancing to my malicious tune. I've got him fooled. I fed him a load of lies, making him believe I'm off on some extended work trip tonight. I'd kill him too, but unfortunately, he's my cover. Here's the motive. <laughs> I've gambled my life for this damn country. Yet, who gets the accolades? Not me, but Ethel. Maybe once I erase her from the scene, they'll finally acknowledge the greatness I've achieved, the masterpieces I've crafted. And if they still don't, well, this confession will cement me as the legend who silenced the renowned author Ethel Myrtle and got away with it. You son of a bitch all these years. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah he is son of a bitch. I should leave. Okay, I have a feeling it's not going to be that simple, though. I don't feel like it's going to be that simple for me to leave. Is that coming from the attic? Why don't we just leave? <laughs> I, th I thought we were just going to leave. Actually, no, I didn't think we were going to leave. I knew we weren't going to leave. There's one more door we haven't opened yet. <gasps> All right. Lady, creepy baby, somebody, hello. Grandpa? Mm. Hello? God, my dearest Max, it's hard to put into words the turmoil swirling within me. I need you to understand that my love for you was genuine, but the path I've chosen was driven by def desperation. Losing my mother at a young age left a void only Ethel could fill. Her books became my refuge, guiding me through life's trials with their messages of hope and joy. The road I've taken, deceiving you to enter her cherished haven, was not fueled by malice, but by a sense of duty. In this life, I find it hard to find a purpose. Even the prospect of motherhood couldn't anchor me in purpose. Yes, Max, I'm three months pregnant. <gasps> I owe Ethel everything. With this book of spells and your sacrifice, I'll protect the place she once called home and where those cherished books were born for all eternity. You once said you'd do anything for me, and I believed you. So I slipped poison into your drink, knowing you'd understand. You look so peaceful now in that bed, and I promise to protect your soul. You may rest while mine will remain here forever. Farewell, Max. Thank you for this chance, even if it means goodbye. Love always, Claire. I need to get the hell out of here. Yep. I don't know why you're not moving faster. But I also don't feel like we're actually going to be able to leave. I feel like um, there's going to be more creepy baby. And probably more lady. And even though I know that there's no actual run mechanics, I'm still holding shift with my pinky. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Hi! Oh, whoops. Well, that was annoying. I hit the wrong button. Bad ending? There was a good ending? I hit the wrong button. I was going to take a fucking screenshot, and I fucked it up. Guided by an unyielding curiosity, your journey led you to a risky exploration that ultimately sealed your fate. Upon entering the attic, the symbolic Pandora's box was opened, allowing Claire's meticulously crafted spell to surge forth. Oh, if I hadn't gone into the attic. I didn't know that was an option. Consequences absolute. Anyone stepping into the house is incorrupt. Uh, incontrovertibly. Oh, okay. 
Your name is forever tarnished as the man who succumbed to a madness and tragically ended his grandmother's life. Well, fuck. Is there a save? Can I go back? Can I see the good ending? Can I not go to the attic? I'm sorry I fucked that up. Oh no. I fucked up the ending. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was trying to take a screenshot. I hit F11 instead of F12. This is a really good game, though, for no prior experience. This was great. I'm definitely going to keep an eye on this developer. I will leave the link to this game on Steam or... Um, yeah, it's, I bought it on Steam. I'll leave the link to this below... Um, and if I can find like a Twitter or something for the developer, I will also leave that below in the description for anybody that wants to check this out for themselves or that wants to follow and support this developer. I know I'm definitely going to be, and thank you to my CEOs for, uh, for recommending games like this. Cause this was fantastic. I feel like. I went into it expecting the scares, and so they didn't get me, a lot of them didn't get me as much as other games have, but there were still some that caught me by surprise and did get me. Like Creepy Baby, the first time, especially when he ran at me, was I was not expecting, but like the, the first time you see the lady at the end of the hallway, because I knew something was coming, I'm just, I'm curious. My name is Thomas Murdoch. Okay. Nope. Nope. And I think I murdered my grandmother. Nope. Okay, we're not, we're not doing that again. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and like I said, I will leave all the information down in the description below. Let me know if you liked this game and if you want to see more games like this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.